Hey everybody, thanks a lot for joining me. Today I'm doing the Lip Product Addict tag and I think it's very appropriate because I tend to feel like out of all the different kinds of makeup out there, lip products are some of the things that I am really, really attracted to. Um, lip products and palettes. Yeah, I kind of have a thing for palettes as well. Um, but many of you asked me to do this video. I also was tagged here and there. Um, Marnie Ms. Gold Girl and Kristen Gay. So thanks guys for tagging me and if you're interested in doing this yourself and you're a video maker or a blogger, um, I say go for it. This was a lot of fun to look through my stuff and kind of pick out some top things for these different categories. So the first question is favorite balm slash treatment and this is a toughie because specifically I feel I am a lip balm addict and um, one of the things most recently that I've really really been enjoying is the um, soft lips cube this is a new thing I mentioned this in my favorites video recently um, I've got it in the French vanilla scent and it does totally look like an EOS lip balm but it's just in this cube and if you like the texture of soft lips which tends to be like really really smoothing Kind of cooling feeling on the lips as well but also that light vanilla scent so I really like it it's also got SPF 15 in it feels really good going on your lips super smooth not a greasy feeling lip balm it can make a nice primer for lip products um, and I just feel like that cooling sensation is so refreshing especially this time of year so I've totally been loving that and one other thing that I'd like to also throw into this category it's not necessarily like a treatment or just a balm, but it's probably the colored lip product that I have that I think does the most for my lips in terms of hydration and keeping them from getting really dry and chapped. And I've mentioned it a lot, but <laughs> Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks are awesome. The shade that I'm holding up here is called Fresh Papaya, and I think that is a great summertime shade, but I would love to see them branch out and come out with like tons of shades of these because I just think they're a wonderful texture, um, so hydrating, and just just the best jumbo lip pencil out there. The next question is best eye-catching red. So I dug through and I think I pulled out the one that I enjoy the most when I really want full out red and it's the Milani Color Statement Lipstick in Red Label. It's so pretty. It's such a great cream formula. So with this, you're getting like a little hint of shine, but it's not like a super greasy, gonna slide outside your lip line type of feel, which is really dangerous when it comes to red lipsticks. So um, very comfortable, ultra rich, full color. Um, may even wanna like take a little lip brush and use that to apply it for some more precision. But I think it's just a classic, classic red. You know, not too much on the orangey side, or on the um, blue tone side either. I think it's pretty neutral, so I like that one a lot. Next question says, best luxury and best drugstore. And I wasn't sure if this was referencing just like the best line overall or specifics from each of those. But I think for best luxury or just high-end lipstick, I've got to go with Bite. I mean, they have totally won me over in about the past year. I have so enjoyed the textures of their lipsticks, the full color that they have, um, how comfortable and good they feel on your lips, even with um, really prolonged wear. And I am wearing a couple of Bite lipsticks today, actually. Um, I got these double-ended ones, and I I just love them. This was such a great kit to get around, um, I think it was around the holidays that I got it. And I am wearing Rose, which is a nice classic pink, but then I combined that with Retsina, which is kind of a like softer pinky nude type color. So the combination of these two gives me a little more um, muted pink since I've got this like blue stuff going on in my eyes today. But um, just so many great colors that I've fallen in love with from this line, from the bright pinks, deep berries, nudes. They've just got some awesome products, even more things that have come out recently that I wanna try. I wanna get some of their glosses. I think they've got like a BB for lips or something that sounds so so amazing. I think if I'm going to make a lip product splurge, that's the kind of thing I want to get. And then um, best drugstore. I really think the Milani Color Statement lipsticks, and there are a couple of reasons why I feel that way. Um, first off, they don't just put out a line of lipsticks and they've all got some like cookie cutter finish to them. You've got some mattes, some creams, some shimmers. And furthermore, an amazing color selection. Just so much. I mean, it, in reds alone, 
there's like four or five different options you could choose from. A lot of great nudes, pinks, berries, oranges. I just don't feel like any part of the color spectrum was ignored when that line was created. And I do have blog posts with like every single Milani color statement lipstick on my lips that I'll link to if you want to learn more. But the cream formula is probably my favorite for finish and feel, but um, some of the shimmers might feel a little more drying. I love to prep my lips with a lip balm under these, but one that I just thought I'd give a shout out to as I'm mentioning it is the shade called Pretty Natural. This was one of the newer releases, and I think it's just a perfect pink for any occasion, any person, um, not too light, not too dark, just a really, really pretty color. For best MAC lipstick, this was kind of tricky for me because I know I've mentioned over time like different ones here and there that I've liked, but I don't know that I've ever really named a, you know, a sole favorite MAC lipstick. But I did uh, kind of narrow it down to something that I thought was the most versatile and um, can give you, I think, a nice little spectrum of looks. It's especially a really great fall and winter shade. Have you guessed what one it is I'm talking about yet? Um, I'm talking about Rebel. And and this shade looks so dark in the tube. It can look very dark on your lips, but you can also wear it, you know, a little more sheer. You could apply this over a balm with a lip brush and get like a totally um, kind of medium berry type look. So I really like the versatility of it and it kind of surprised me that it wasn't until like this past fall that I actually picked this one up. And I know it's got a cult following, but I'm really glad that I finally gave in and got it too. For the most disappointing, I was just to name something I recently tried and didn't like, but no, most disappointing probably means like the worst lipstick you've ever used or lip product. And it's got to be that awful Jordana one that I mentioned in probably the last fails video that I did. It is so dry, but so sticky. I'm gonna hold it at a distance because I don't want to catch a whiff of that anymore. And since we're moving portions of my makeup, I've been packing up here and there, so I don't even have that here right now to show it to you uh, personally. And I can only hope that maybe since I've tried that one, some things have changed with the line, or maybe there's some improvements and it's not quite as bad as it was then because that just, it's one of those unbelievable, like how do they put this on the shelves type of items. The next question is liner, yes or no? Um, overall, I guess I would say yes, although I don't wear it like every single day, but I do think it can be like exactly what the doctor ordered for certain um, lip colors, particularly when I'm doing a bright lip or a really nude lip. Like I love to have a nice crisp line when I'm wearing a red or a really deep berry or maybe a very hot pink shade. But also when I'm wearing nude lipsticks, I think it's good to have a good nude lip liner that can kind of give you a really finished border without looking like way darker than your lip color you're putting on. And so a great one for that is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Nude. I love this. This is so great. Um, what was the gloss that I've been pairing this with? The NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee is gorgeous over the top of this. But I've got a lot of these retractable lip liners from NYX and they are really long wearing. So if you put them on, definitely fill in your whole lips with them and it'll give you like that extra layer of staying power under any gloss or any lipstick you put on top. Number seven is best gloss. I've got a lot of glosses that I like. But one that I've been trying to get back into using more, it's not like I ever didn't like it or stopped liking it, but I just feel like I've been reaching for them a little bit more lately are my Buxom lip glosses. Um, they're kind of like lip plumpers and glosses in one. They've got really nice staying power. I've got a ton of these shorter sizes because I always try to find those kits when they're available. And one specific formula of these that I think is great are the creams. Um, Berry Blast is so pretty. Creams are a more opaque look on your lips. Not saying the other ones can't be colorful. Some of them are, um, but these just give that shine, but but also like a more densely colored formula. So I really, really like these. They do give your lips, you know, that little bit of a tingle, kind of a minty type of feel, but I like that. And then the last part says something extra. So I guess something else that I would recommend. Um, the thing that I want to mention is a total combination of lipstick and lip gloss. Like, the finish on your lips has color intensity that makes me think lipstick, but beautiful shine. And it's the Sonia Kashuk Shine Luxe Shears. 
I so, so love these products. I own most of them. I'll link to the blog where I tried them all on. Um, a really, really great kind of peachy nude is the one in Sheer Pink Lust. Uh, this is probably my most used one. It's like when I'm wanting that nude color with a little shine, this just instantly pops into my head. I'm always reaching for it, but they just feel so like luxurious on your lips. But if you haven't checked out these products and you're kind of wanting to try something different, you know, from the average lipstick, you might like these. So that concludes the Lip Addict tag. I had fun with this and I hope you did too. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.